There's a reason they called it the Wild West. Good people of Tombstone, my name is C.S. Fly, proprietor of the Fly Photography Gallery. New blood, the shop could use our protection. We can look after ourselves just fine, thank you. You learn slow, don't you, boy? The truth has no sides, it just is. Fuck, stop! I was just a young man when I first headed west. In the years that followed, I became a cowboy, a gunslinger, and even served as sheriff of Dodge City, one of the most lawless towns in the country. My name is Bat Masterson. Now I'm a reporter, and I've come west again to chronicle the world that I know best, the American West. The lure of gold, land, destiny flooded the frontier with men both good and bad. These are the incredible true tales of the Wild West. An old-fashioned, behind-the-scenes reporter like myself would rather sit with a dentist than a photographer. Hat or no hat? Whichever you prefer. What's your professional opinion? It's your portrait, sir. To what puts you at ease. Have you posed for photographs before? Only under duress. So, Mrs. Fly, this camera of yours, who's the maker? Mr. Masterson. Your editor insists on a portrait. Stall all you like, but it will be taken. Photography, a bit of an unusual career for a... For a woman. I've always had a keen eye. Sadly, I couldn't paint worse fit. Photography chose me. Where'd you get started? San Francisco. I, I met a young man who had scraped and saved enough to buy his own equipment. Ah, Mr. Fly. Buck. Yeah. You now, right away, I saw that he was special. He wanted to show people the way that he saw Listen to me trudging of ancient history. I do tend to have that effect on people. Did you stay on the coast, or? Not long. As soon as we got married, we headed for Arizona. What drew you there? Buck had heard of a silver boom town in the desert. And he wanted to be the first to open a studio. So we packed up the camera and rode 800 miles to a place called Tombstone. Nothing promise you money or life without work. But I did promise it would never be dull. And I believed you. I got an idea. Let's take the optical out in the town. There's too much to do, Buck. We have to arrange the dark room and choose the furnishings. There's plenty of time. Look around, you Jamal. Look where we are. It's not how you build a clientele when we discuss this. We'll photograph all the fat cats <sighs> and their fat wives. But these people, they're real. And our business is real, Buck. And it needs our attention. No shame in portraiture. Let's get started.
Good people of Tombstone, my name is C.S. Fly, proprietor of the Fly Photography Gallery. Highest grade images at a fair price. 25 cents a picture. Here, take a flyer. 25 cents a picture. Come visit Fly's Photography Gallery. Well, pretty as a picture yourself. What do you think, boys? Should I pose for the lady? Think your ugly mug might break the glass. I think you like it. All are welcome in our studio, gents. As long as you have the means. <laughs> New blood. These streets can be fearsome. The shop could use our protection. We can look after ourselves just fine, thank you. Hmm. Yeah. You gonna learn who runs this place? You learn slow, don't you, boy? Uh, not gonna look at him. <laughs> Come on. That's enough. Well, hey, Marshall, you boys are like a bad penny. How many times will I catch you pulling guns in my street, Clinton? Your street? Cowboys were here first. We'll be here when you're gone. Even so, I'll have that pistol. Yours too, Billy. Come take it. You might not be ashamed of yourselves. Fight if you must, but I'll thank you not to do it in front of my business. You heard him, Marsh. Next time, bring all your brothers and your doctor friend. <laughs> we'll be waiting. Come on, boys, let's go. I was ill-advised, young lady. But not a little brave. I'm Virgil Earp for my kid brother, Morgan. Who are those men? Youngsters, Billy Clanton. His brother, Ike, he's the one who pulled on you. Steer clear of that bunch. Their days are numbered and they know it. Buck, let's go inside. Fuck. Wait a minute. Mr. Masterson, I must insist. Well, hold on, you're saying you moved next door to the OK Corral? We only knew it as a livery that hosted on sacred characters. When was this? 1881. 81, that's the year of the... Yes. Yes, the year of the shootout. Well, continue, Mrs. Fly. Don't let me stop you. And what about your portrait? How's this? Finish your story, and I promise to be the perfect subject. When's the next one? Mr. and Mrs. Portis are due at 4 o'clock. Same setup, same blank faces. Wouldn't mind stretching my legs. Buck, not this again. What was the point of moving to a real boom town if we only ever see one wall? You heard what the marshal said. There's trouble brewing out there. What better time to have a camera? What was that? Get down!
Maya. You see anything? Hush. If the shooting's done, then you have no reason to be here. I said quiet. Fuck. That's Billy's gun. What'd they do? Your brother's dead. Buck, answer me. What's happened? It's a massacre out there. I need to photograph it. You'll do no such thing. Molly, let go. This is important. They're coming to finish I told them I was unarmed. Don't let them kill me. Marshal, what was all that noise? Thought I saw Ike Clinton crawl in here. No, sir. It's just me and my wife. Search the place. That's not necessary. We're looking for a fugitive. We say what's necessary. You care to show me your written warrant? You care to spend the night in jail, fly. Marshal Earp? Surely enough has been done for one day. Keep out of sight. Go at the back. Stay out. 30 seconds. That's how long the gunfight at the OK Corral lasted. No one can say who fired first. You know, I knew Virgil Earp. Knew White even better. We were friends. When they were arrested, I wasn't quite sure what to think. They weren't behind bars for long. Some said the shooting was just. Others called it murder. I think it was something simpler. What's that? Power. Only one side can control those streets and the money that flowed through them. Could be. Never got the full picture of what happened that day. There's a good reason for that. What are you doing? What's it look like? He ordered us to stay. I don't care. Someone has to do it. Buck, stop! I need you. I'm sorry, we're closed for the... This is Fly. I was hoping to speak to your husband. No, oh, he has business in Bisbee. Bisbee. How's your business today? Like I said, Marshal, we're closed. Maybe you'll make an exception. Mrs. Earp has been hounding me for a photograph. Glad to see your shop back in order. And the corral will be patched up soon. Fresh coat of paint does wonders. I understand this to be a trial. A hearing, that's all. We only wanted to disarm them. Folks don't seem to realize we were enforcing the law. The law's not my purview, sir. I take pictures. Mrs. Fly, things will be said at this hearing. Vicious things by people who weren't there. I've sworn to protect this town, even if it needs protecting from itself. Good people here want to move on. I'd be displeased to see any photographs of the corral. They might give the wrong impression. I must ask you to remain perfectly still.
What's he doing? Making threats to my wife? In my own studio? This is too large for us, Buck. We just have to go about our work. Some gunslinging marshal told us to? Those cowboys threatened your life. Why would you take their side? I don't care about sides. The truth has no sides. It just is. I should have done it. Well, the bodies were warm. I should have taken the camera and done my job. That's not your job. You're not a journalist. Why not? People deserve to know what happened here before it gets swept under the rug. I have the tools and I'm stuck in here with... With me. That's not what I meant. If you no longer want the life that we've built together... Stop. Don't say that. I have followed you in everything. I have trusted you. I have asked you for nothing until now. I am asking you, Buck. Choose us. To stay out of it and keep us safe. Will you do that? Something I had to see. Listen, you know I'm not going anywhere, right? Out of my way! This ain't no sad show. Look what they did. My baby brother, 19 years old, gunned down like a dog. You know this ain't right. But you're too yellow to stand up and say something. What's wrong? Molly, wait. Mr. Fly, I didn't expect to find you here. I could say the same thing to you. I trust you had a talk with your wife. You listen to me, or badge or no badge, you ever step foot in my place uninvited again, you'll hear it from me. Buck? Give me a hand. All right, that's enough of a gander, folk. Everybody go home. Show some respect. Fair of you lost your minds. No, sir. We just found our stomachs. I am the law. I am ordering you to put it away. Do you intend to shoot us in the street, too? Listen here, woman. Virgil. I regret this fly. I regret doing nothing a whole lot more. C.S. Fly's photograph is the only such document to survive the O.K. Corral gunfight. Eventually, Fly took his camera out of the studio, traveling to New Mexico to photograph the surrender of Chief Geronimo. Molly Fly continued to run Fly's photography gallery after Buck's death. She bequeathed all of their surviving photos of the West to the Smithsonian Institute. I always wanted Hearth and Home, but Buck, it's a restless soul. Where is Mr. Fly now? He passed. Not that long ago. I'm sorry. 
Sounds like a remarkable man. Now, as promised. The hat. Definitely the hat. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> 